Moisturizer. Hey, what's up? How are you doing, everybody? Welcome back to our picture slideshow update on Sterizer. TV. In today's episode, we're staring at Lindy West's house when Lindy West's phone was ringing in the middle of the night when they were both asking themselves who can phone at this time. When Lindy West was telling Bangizo that it's crazy, Lindy West answered the phone asking Quezzy if everything is okay. Quezzy told Lindy West everything is okay while she was apologizing if she wake her. Lindy West told Quezzy that it's fine. She didn't wake her. Asked Asking Quezzy if they had a safe trip. Quezzy told Lindy where that everything went well, saying that they are at the hospital right now because she wanted to make sure that Zano was booked and ready as soon as the sunrise at Atlanta. Lindy will asked Quezzy what's the time there in Atlanta. Quezzy lied by telling her that it's half past 11. While Quezzy was apologizing to Lindy with that, next time she will make sure that she checked the time difference before making a call. Lindy will insisted by telling Quezzy to call at any time if there's anything she need. Quezzy told Lindy that Zano Tando is a fighter because her little body is just overwhelmed and Quezzy thanked Lindy for everything and they both said goodbye to each other. When Lindy ended the call, Bangizo asked her if she's alright. Lindy said she's okay and they turned off the light again. Moving to Cobra and Angelina. Angelina was giving Cobra something to eat when she was telling him that she gave him a big piece of meat. Cobra looked at the food like it was disgusting when Angelina was telling Cobra to eat when she said she's not here to fight with him but she only brought him here so that they could talk. Cobra told Angelina to stop taking chances asking Angelina if she think he can take her back after destroying his life. Angelina told Cobra that his attitude is not gonna help him because he can sit here the whole month and he will not get out of that door. Cobra told Angelina that it's fine they will sit here and die all of them. Angelina told Cobra that at least they agree on, on something. Angelina continued telling Cobra that when they got married, for her it was for life. Cobra kept calling Angelina the psycho and moving to the shoppers. Numafu and Kwezi were both putting hospital pictures on their wall in hotel when Numafu was telling Kwezi how to put them. When Kwezi was saying she's not sure because this looks a little too generic for her. Kaniso told them both that if they want to convince Vince Lindy way that this is a hospital. They have to try to do it better than this. Kanyiso was telling both of them that they are having fun in this hotel. But the person who paid all of this holiday is the one who killed Mlilo. When Kwezi was asking Nomafu where is her father with Zano Tando because she haven't seen them in a while. Nomafu told Kwezi that she's sure because the is in the bushes with the baby telling her that she was in the army traveling in the bushes and so forth. And Nomafu left Kwezi telling her that she's going to look for him and Kwezi was laughing there. And Ganyiso too left Kwezi telling her that he wants to stretch his legs and see if there are any girls around because he's got everything he needs. And moving back to Tutomukwena's house, Rahari was calling all the family to have food when Timpo was the only one who said she doesn't have appetite for eating without knowing where Tuso is. And she said she doesn't know what that crazy Angelina did to her brother. Rahari told Dimpo it's time for eating and not to think about that now. Bonolo asked Dimpo if she thinks Angelina hurt Tuso. Dimpo told Bonolo that she must know that she'd go to jail for a long time. Rahadi told them this is time for them to keep the faith not to think the worst case scenario. And moving back to Cobra and Angelina. Angelina was telling Tuso that she's been thinking if she remember well Tuso was just a boy who went to high school with her and Tuso was not her type. But more and more time she spent with him, she realized that he was not that bad. She said she saw everything that he did and realized that he was her soulmate. Whatever happens, him and her belong together. Tuso asked Angelina why she is telling him all this nonsense. Angelina told Tuso that he is not a good person, he is a crook and a cheat. Cobra asked Angelina why did she marry him. Angelina told Tuso that it's because him and her are the same, that's why they belong together. Tuso 
when Angelina continued with their argument. When Cobra told Angelina that he did love Paulina, even now he still love her. Angelina told Cobra that he should go to the grave and love her. Maybe she is alive, or maybe she has been eaten by worms, or maybe she is a zombie. Cobra was so pissed when Angelina was talking like that. When he was telling her to shut up, calling her a witch and a tramp, Angelina told Tuso to forget about Paulina because she is not coming back. Cobra told Angelina to shut up and leave him alone. Moving back to Lindywe's house, Andile was with Lindywe as well as Bangizwe and Dumiso. When Veronica came in to join them, asking Lindywe if Kwezi hasn't given them any feedback, Lindywe told Veronica that the baby has been checked in at the hospital. Veronica told them that she can't believe that they are sitting here and their grandchild is in overseas. Andile told them that even if they were there, they would still have to wait. When they were all talking, Dumiso and Bangizwe were both about their mission to find out more about Kwezi and the shoppers. When Andile continued telling them that he did some research on this cardiomyopathy, he said he saw that there were risks on this disease. And at that time, Bangizwe was busy on his cell phone. And then Bangizwe left and Dumiso followed his father quietly because they have to carry on with their mission without Lindywe's knowledge. And going to Cobra Tuso Mukwena's house, Morena was packing his bag when Bonolo asked him where he's going. He told Bonolo and Rahadi that he's going to look for his father. He said he won't be back until he find him. Rahadi and Bonolo begged Morena to sit down. Morena told them both that he's not gonna sit down without knowing where his father is. He said because of him, his father is in trouble now. Rahadi told Morena that no one is blaming him and they all understand Morena's relationship with Angelina. That he loved her. That is why he trusted her when she came to him and asked for help. Morena told them that Angelina won't give Tato back to Copra without a fight. Rahadi begged Morena to sit down and wait for Copra to come back, but Morena didn't listen. He took his bag and left. Going back to Kwezi in the hotel, Kwezi was doing that video call that was gonna convince Lindywe that of course she's in hospital. When Lindywe was telling Kwezi that it's so good to see her face, Kwezi told Lindywe that the cardiologist decided to run some tests on Zanotando before the operation so that they are waiting for some results and staying hopeful. Lindy we told Kwezi that maybe she can get on her jet and go to Atlanta because she's worried too. Kwezi said no, there's not much of a difference between worrying that side and worrying this side. Lindy we told Kwezi that she just feel helpless. Kwezi told her that she understand. Lindy we asked Kwezi for the phone number of that cardiologist. Maybe she would help asking him some questions. Kwezi made an excuse telling Lindy we that there's someone who's calling her. She's about to go. Telling her that she'll call her later. Lindy was said it's fine. She can go. Back to Copra and Angelina. Angelina was telling Copra that this is everything that you get from being a crook. Copra was telling Angelina that it was a mistake for marrying her. Copra told Angelina that he never loved her. He told her that he was just using her. He only loved Paulina. He said he never loved Angelina at all. They continued with their argument up until Angelina got pissed and went to another room and came back with the baby taking a knife pointing it to the baby telling the baby that his father is a fool Cobra asked Angelina what is she doing Angelina told Cobra that if he was using her what are the results of using somebody Cobra was telling Angelina to stop when Angelina was telling Cobra that she's going to kill them both because they don't know her Angelina told Cobra to sit down and she told him that because he never loved her she was always asking herself what Paulina had that she didn't have. She told Cobra that it was painful to find her baby dead after she had given birth to him. She said she cried every day for her dead baby. She said she had no one to share this secret with. She said she cried every day and prayed for her baby. She said Cobra made her feel worthless every day. She said Paulina was kind and she didn't want her to die. But Paulina brought a gun to the house. She said they fought for the gun and she got shot. While 
she didn't want to kill her because Cobra too was hurting her because she thought every time he's looking at her he saw a strong talkative Angelina but inside he didn't know that her heart is in pieces she said she was not like this she said it's Cobra who did this to her Angelina started crying saying that Cobra is the one who hurt her in such a way that she cannot explain she said what's happening to her inside Cobra will pay for all his sins and on the other side of the road Dr. Mabaso was shaking hands with another man and when Dr. Mabaso was going to his car Bangizwe's boys pointed the gun at him and Dumiso put a sack on his head and they took him to the boot of the car they opened the trunk and put him inside moving back to Cobra and Angelina Cobra was starting to call Angelina baby doll telling her that he never see her like this he said he didn't realize that he hurt her he told Angelina that she is right because Molina had his heart that made him ignore Angelina and not taking care of her he said he was selfish he said he was inconsiderate of Angelina he only thought of himself he told Angelina that he forgive her for everything Angelina told Tuso that she forgive him after everything that has happened she forgive him she told Tuso that she is glad that he forgives her too Angelina stood up telling Tuso that she forgives him and they will fix everything and she unlocked the handcuffs telling Tuso him and her they will be fine and they both hug each other when Angelina keep repeating that she forgives Tuso while they were still hugging Cobra took a knife on the table and stabbed Angelina he poked Angelina repeatedly up until Angelina fell down on the floor and this is the end and what do you think is gonna happen do you think Angelina is really dead if she dies what's gonna happen to Tuso is he gonna go to prison let us see on the next episode and thanks for watching Thank you for watching Storiza TV and please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Durban Spares Jim speaking, hello. Hey, hello. Hi. Yes, how are you doing, man? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, is that uh, Durban Spares there? Yes. Uh, who am I speaking to? You're speaking to Jim. Oh, your name is Tim. No, my name is Jim. Tim. Jim. Tim. I said Jim. Oh, Jim. Yes, Jim. Is it for Jim? No, it's spelled J-I-M. J-Y-M. J-I-M. Oh, Jim Carrey. No. Okay, Jim Carrey. No, I'm not Jim Carrey, just Jim. Oh, you you are just Jim. Yes, just Jim. Okay, just Jim. Uh, Wait a minute, that's not my name. But you just said your name is just Jim. I didn't say that I said Jim. What's your name exactly? My name is Jim. Oh, Jim Carrey. No, I am not Jim Carrey, that's not my surname. So who are you? I said my name is Jim, not Carrey. What's your surname? No, that's not important. Your surname is not important. Please tell me what you want i'm busy are you jim carrey or are you just jim i said i am not jim carrey and just jim okay just jim hey stop calling me that oh just jim okay whatever